everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm back with a summer layout today, just because it's January, at least in, it's January in winter, in my neck of the woods, doesn't mean that I can't scrapbook summer photographs. So I'm starting out with that striped paper and the green paper. So the, and then this polka dot paper, this pink polka dot paper. So this pink polka dot paper is from Lawn Fawn. It's the Let's Polka Wild Rose Polka. Uh, papers here and the striped paper is from simple stories hello summer life is good which is a little bit older collection and now I loved how the green pulled together kind of the the pink and the stripes so I'm going to do a band of that that was a little bit more than five inches high and that particular green paper is photo play summer bucket list and it's the bucket list paper and I did this layout actually back in October. <laughs> it's just that I'm that far ahead because of all the Christmas crafting I do in December. I do very few 12 by 12 layouts. And I did it for an online crop for my little scrapbook store. So I was reproducing um, a sketch. So that's what I'm doing here. So. I decided the sketch had circles and I decided instead of doing circles or stitch circles that I was going to use doilies to represent those circles and I really like how that white kind of pops it off I do though have some doilies in the blue that's on here the aqua and the green so I was kind of trying that out but I actually liked the white better because it was just a pop of freshness to the layout um, not that those colors aren't fresh but it it's a cleanness um, that I think does a nice job of setting that off. So I cut one of those doilies in half so that I could do two at the top and then one at the bottom because I'm thinking about mounting my title somewhere on those two white doilies. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I really like how, you know, kind of simple this is, but there's a lot of color and a lot of oomph because of all that color in this layout and this is um, a photo of three of my grandkids playing in the sprinkler on the lawn last summer which is definitely a childhood memory for lots of us and I thought it would be cool and now my grandsons are being very silly they're definitely doing boy things there so I also thought that would be funny I'm going through my L Studio 3x4 journaling cards there because I knew I had some summer specific journaling cards. I found this popsicle one and I do like it, but it has that kind of royally blue color in that I don't have. So then while I was doing that, I remembered that I did have some summer icons, including some popsicles in acrylics in LE Studio. So I'm grabbing those as well. And then I, these are some words. Uh, some phrase stickers and so I'm grabbing those too. All right so I'm going to add that in and they're not having popsicles here but boy they had the the I everybody calls them different things but the freeze pops which are the long um, popsicles in just a plastic um, container and you can kind of smush them up to eat them uh, they had a lot of those this summer. All right now that is a very cool sticker that is actually a sprinkler which is awesome and that is from photo play the summer bucket list element stickers and then I have that other um, sticker there that says every summer has a story and that came from the um, summer bucket list word strip stickers as well as that phrase up there which I'm trying to remember because the, the two phrases, I picked the blue phrase and the pink phrase, both say run through the sprinklers. And I know they're the exact same phrase, but they're in two different colors. And hey, it's a sprinkler photo, I'm doing it. That is a little water balloon, which they weren't playing with water balloons, but it's kind of water themed, so that made sense to me. That came from the word strip stickers. And there's word strip stickers right there from Summer Bucket List. So I'm looking at other things on that sticker, the sticker sheets that I might be able to use. I'm kind of playing around and I have these little water droplets so most of the water droplets came from the element stickers but I did pull one from the word strip stickers to kind of 
um, even the mod. I think there was only one left, so I thought I might as well find a, a way and a place to use that. All right, so there's that. All right. So then on the sketch, there were there were some journaling strips here. And so I am going because I've used a journaling card, there was a there was a card on the sketch. Um, and I'm not showing it to you because that was a um, it was just something from the website. But anyway, um, so I'm kind of mimicking that with my word strips and those came from the um, Ellie Studio summer phrase stickers. That's what those are. So then again, I'm adding in water droplets just in a couple of different places. It just makes sense to do that because it's a water layout, just you know, to enhance the theme. Now I'm thinking about what I'm going to do for my title. And I'm thinking the word sprinkler is important to get in here. And that's an old Chamel alphabet in a turquoise color. And I didn't have enough of the letters and it would have been tough to MacGyver some of them. So instead I grabbed these, um, these stickers right here. And that's from Amy Tangerine Thickers and Memento. And these things are really thin and they don't stick well. So even though you'd think they would, they're almost like a really thin plastic. Um, and I like it because you can get the you know a big title in a small space but they don't stick so when i shut the camera off i adjust it a little bit that title a little bit just to the left because i think it's a little bit too far to the right right now and then i glue them all down i'm not going to make you watch that pain though all right so then what i'm doing here is i'm taking these acrylic pieces they're the popsicles that are on the three by four card from l studio ellie studio and i'm adding them onto the journaling card and I'm just going to use that yellow one there to cover up the blue. Now, can you still see the darkness behind that? Yes, but you can't tell it's the blue. So I'm happy with that. It, you know, it actually makes it look almost green. So I'm going to add a couple of these in right there. And then last but not least, I'm going to go back in and add some enamel dots. So you'll see that in the still shot here and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are well and I will be back with another layout soon. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.